Over the past year, I've been drawing pictures like these and making thousands of dollars for just 30 minutes of work. But how did I do it and how can you do it too at any age for completely free? This is the TikTok page I make money with and it is pretty incredible that I've made over $5,000 with such a small following. I remember having only 1,000 followers and making $600 in one day. And I'm gonna teach you how to do that today. Here's what you should expect from this video. I'm gonna be showing you these $1,000 videos I make, how I make money with them, how you can grow your account, and how you can make these videos too. All right. Right, let me start off explaining exactly how I make money with this. I make these videos, which you might have seen on your profile page, where I basically cartoon somebody's profile picture. As you can see in the video, I trace over somebody's profile picture and talk using TikTok's AI voice. Basically, people see these videos and see me turn a picture into a cartoon and want to do this too. And this is where I make the money. I told them I put the app I used in my bio, so they go and download it using the link in my bio. And every time they download that animation app in my bio, I get paid $1. This might not seem a lot, but the app is completely completely free and it adds up quickly. For example, look at this video of mine with 1.6 million views. If one in every 100, aka 1% of the people that watch a video, download the app in my bio, that's $16,000. Well, to get paid for every download, we're gonna be using an app called The Plug, which basically has a list of apps that they'll pay you to have people download. The only problem is, to make an account with The Plug, you have to have an account with a lot of followers and a lot of views on recent videos. So let me show you exactly how to grow your account so you could sign up for the plug. Okay, so now you know how I make the money with the account, but how did I originally grow it and how do I still continue to grow it to this day? Well, the great part about making these videos is that the account will basically grow itself. Maybe you're a little confused what I mean by that, so let me explain. So since we're making videos about the audience, animating profile pictures for them, other people are going to see the video and comment something maybe like, hey, animate my profile picture next please, which is great because then the algorithm sees that somebody is watching the video all the way through and then commenting at the end so the algorithm sees this and boosts the video to even more people my first few videos didn't do too well a few hundred views but finally after 10 videos i had my first blow up video that i made a few hundred dollars on and it got me a lot of followers but now you need to know how to make these videos to get the views so let me show you how to do that it's really simple to make these videos although the process does take about an hour it'll get quicker every time you do it so for your first video you won't have any people commenting to do their profile picture so you could just look up a picture of a celebrity and animate that. Next, you have to download an app called IBIS Paint X. This is where we're gonna be animating the picture. Once you downloaded the app, click My Gallery, then click the plus button in the bottom corner and import your picture. I'm gonna be doing this with you so you could just look right here if you wanna know exactly what I'm doing. So basically, what you're gonna do once you're here is go to the layers in the bottom right corner, click plus and that will add a layer now go to the original layer of the picture and at the bottom you'll see that sliding thing that'll change the opacity change it down to around like 60 ish 50 60 70 and then make sure to change the top layer that is very important so make sure you have selected the top layer the one above the original picture at the bottom here you could see this this thing that looks like a brush click on it hopefully you're on the brush there's all these different tools if you're not just click brush and then it doesn't matter what you use. I use the felt tip pen hard. Then we're going to turn the size down to two. Okay, now that we're at two, we're pretty much ready. What we do now is take two fingers and zoom in and then we just have to trace the picture. So for example, let me zoom in here and you would just keep tracing this for the entire image. And if you mess up, say like that, I go off. On the top left, if you click the undo button, it will undo that. Or if you go here, you could click the eraser or at the bottom left, you could switch between eraser and brush. Try to completely outline the person or in my case, dog. And every time a color changes, make sure to put a line. So for example, right here, you would make sure to outline this and put a line here. That was really rough because I'm not doing it fully, but you would zoom in and make sure it's pretty perfect. So what you could do after you've completely finished is you go back to the layers and then you remove the bottom layer with your original image. And you could do that by clicking the I button. Sorry for the cutoff, my friend called me. But basically, if you click the I button, you won't be able to see it anymore and you can see exactly what you drew. You could switch back and forth and make sure you got everything and it looks great. Let me show you an example of one of mine. So for example, this is the original image. If I click the eye, 
boom, you can see my drawing and I finish it all. You can just go back and forth, make sure you got it all. And after you do that, you could start coloring. Let me show you how to do that. Go to the original image. And then if you hold on something for a while, for example here, you could see red shows up. And if you go over here, you see blue shows up. The color that shows up is the color that is below what you're holding. And let me show you how to do it. Let me start with this right here, the red. So I got the red color I want. I go back to layers and then I hide this layer and, and make sure to create a new layer that goes right under the drawing. Then what I do is you could either manually draw it in or what I like to do is go to the brush and then change it to bucket and we'll automatically fill it in like that. Then you click the layer you want again. You have to switch back to brush. Hold down on this, it'll give you blue. And then just like we did, you switch back. You go to here, bucket, blue, blue. And basically you just do that with the entire image until it looks like this. This is my finished result. And you can make a new layer below every other layer and change the background to a different color. You can go to the bottom right corner with the arrow and click save as PNG. It'll save to your camera roll and then you can go back to my gallery. Now create a new project and add the original picture and the colored picture. Make sure to put the colored picture on the bottom and the original picture on top of the layer. Then trace over the top picture doing what you did to color like you see me doing in this video right here. And then go to the eraser tool, make it big and erase the entire thing to reveal the cartoon image. To edit the video, we don't need to use any apps as the TikTok editor will do. Click the big plus in the middle and select your screen recorded video. I like to speed up the part where I color the image to make it quicker, but you do not have to. I like to add the AI voice to keep people's attention, so I say things like, this one came out pretty well, and I also add a poll to keep their attention, and I sometimes say like, answer the poll, or comment below your answer to the poll. It's pretty basic to add the text with the voice. All you have to do is add the text, and then click the icon that looks like a person talking. But if you want to have the AI saying multiple things, then set the duration of the text. And boom, it's done. I know my tutorial for the drawing wasn't very good, so you can watch this video right here, or I left a link to it in the description if you want a more in-depth tutorial. But that's gonna be all for this video. I hope you had an amazing day, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more money-making tips, and have an amazing day. Peace.